before my family I started the journey to America, we had a celebration in Play Balloon. Many people assembled at the celebration. My grandmother, my cousin, and my uncle and aunt were also there and helped out. They came and helped out. And late at night, everybody said good night and see you tomorrow, except my grandma. She didn't say anything when she left. I went into the bedroom and wondered why she left without saying anything. She watched me when I was a baby. She taught me how to be a good boy. She always stayed close to me. And now I'm going to America without her. I guess it's maybe it's too painful to say goodbye. I kept thinking and thinking about her until I fell asleep. The next day after I woke up in my bedroom, I stepped outside and looked at the sky while my mom packed up her stuff. My cousin also came help carry out our stuff to where the car picked us up. There were a lot of people that came and said goodbye and good luck for our journey. My family and I was not the only family who go to America. There are other families too. They also say goodbye to their relatives. It made me feel delighted because since I was just a kid, I was happy to see everyone look gay, so happy for their journey. When I arrived in Mesa, I met a lot of new people. They were all planning to go to America. When I went into camp, it smelled horrible. I didn't like how it smelled. However, the bathroom smelled the worst. I didn't like going to bathroom. When I went to bathroom, I covered my nose and my mouth with my hands. The bathroom smelled pungent. It was not like the camp I lived before. Thankfully, we only stayed there for a week. When I arrived in Bangkok, the capital of Thailand, I um, looked through the window of a double deck bus and saw a lot of cars and roads. And that was the first time to see a bunch of cars and a lot of roads. I was really grateful to see that. Then my family and I arrived to the hotel. A uh, lot of family from the camp came the same day as us. The hotel owner gives key to all families. Each key has a door number. We slept in the hotel for a night and woke up at 4 a.m. And then everyone separated and keep disappeared. We got on an airplane and fly to Hong Kong. I saw a lot of airplane in the the city. I didn't like planes. I don't enjoy the ride. Then we flew to Los Angeles, California. When I arrived in Los Angeles, everything was almost the same as Becca except the word and the alphabet unsigned. Both have cool car and road, and it made me feel excited again. My family and I stay in the hotel for a night. Then we moved to 24th Idaho. I did have a chair to attend to school. There were not a lot of current people and not a lot of jobs. We lived there for six months. Then we moved to St. Paul, Minnesota, and that's where I am.